Joining us live now to weigh in is our very own Real America's Voice correspondent, Amanda Head, joining us in McAllen, Texas. Good to see you, Amanda. Good to see you, Miranda. Thanks for having me on. Uh, so, uh, we want to get your reaction to the president's speech last night, some of the key takeaways for you. And if you could give the president's speech a letter grade, just curious, what would you give it and why? Um, D plus. He stayed D awake, plus. so wow. that's why, you know, you that's go. why it's not enough. Um, yeah, if, if it weren't so radical, it would have been extremely boring. And I've seen some screenshots where it appears, I know this is not true, and it's a joke, but... Nancy Pelosi's eyes and Kamala Harris's eyes are both closed. I'm just saying. Uh, some of the top notes, uh, the line where he said, we the people are the government, really, really kind of got under my skin because that's literally the opposite of what's true. I think our founding fathers would actually hate the government that we have right now, not necessarily the people, just the sheer size and nature of it. Um, I also found that little blurb, we have, we can't just build back better, we have to build back better. Okay, Joe Biden, that's clear. Um, I also found it interesting that they were wearing masks. The CDC just told us that you don't have to wear a mask if you're vaccinated and they are all vaccinated because they were at the front of the line. Um, I also found Kevin McCarthy's tweet reacting to it very interestingly. <laughs> he said this all could have just been said in an email. And with respect to where we are now, Joe Biden said that immigration is essential. I would beg to differ. I would uh, proffer that our constitutional liberties and freedoms are what are essential and what are being trampled right now. Um, this area of the border is also being trampled, by the way. Here's the wall. Uh, you can see the end of that. If we still had Trump in office, that would be extended far beyond where you see the end of that wall. Unfortunately, 110 yeah. days ago, they were ordered to halt it. Keep in mind, this has all been paid for. Not only the the equipment and the supplies needed to build the wall, but also the workers prepaid. So they're all just kind of chilling until they get the green light, maybe someday, to continue building. You're at the border. So these are, when it comes to... Uh, the border crisis, if you will, is the vice president. She spoke a little bit this morning. We're expecting her to speak again later today. Um, she says she's working to address the root causes of the border crisis, yet we still haven't seen her at the border. Uh, do you anticipate that will change anytime soon? Yeah, I mean, I, I think obviously addressing the root causes of any issue is very important, but you can't really know the devastation and the disaster at the border until you actually come here. And I think that though they know what's happening here, if they come here, then they have to do something about it. And that would enrage and inflame the far left factions of their party. I have heard that she is planning on finally gracing the border with her presence in June. Um, that, of course, is five months after she took office. So, I, you you know, I hope that she feels a little bit more expediency in dealing with other issues, but this one's very important. So I think coming before June is going to be a good idea. So I would encourage the vice that travel.